Hi guys, so I have this Dell G315 gaming laptop 3579 for quite some time now and I just can't help but feel frustrated of how slow it is. And I found out that since I purchased this version, it doesn't come with an SSD card and the RAM, it, it only has 4 gigabyte of RAM. So I went online and tried to find some answers in hopes that I can speed up this laptop because it did cost me quite a lot. And so I found resources that you can actually buy an SSD card and have it installed on your laptop. Hopefully this works. An SSD card stands for Solid State Drive. It's actually a form of storage, but it's much more faster than a computer's typical hard drive because it uses chip to, stir, to store memory as opposed to hard drive which uses moving parts. So if you're gonna be loading games, loading application, or switching be between tasks, you definitely have to have an SSD card installed because it will make your laptop much more faster. Now, before you purchase an SSD card for your Dell G315 gaming laptop, you have to ensure that it is the right specifications because there are also other other types of SSD card. Now, I did some research online and I found out that the compatible SSD card for the Dell G3 is the M.2-2280 SSD interface is PCIe 3x4 NVMe with a capacity of up to 512GB. Now, I have here a 500GB SSD, but I did some research that you can still install a one terabyte SSD card on your Dell G3 laptop and that will be fine. Now, I got here the Western Digital WD SN550. This is economical choice, but you know, there are other choices of SSD card. Like if you have the budget, Samsung offers a much faster SSD card version but you know i decided to purchase this one instead and also there are other ssd cards like kingston and transcend that are more economical so let's go ahead and install this in our laptop hey guys so we're now gonna install the ssd card in our g3 laptop but to do that we first have to flip the laptop and then remove the screws there are a total of 10 screws here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right so we're gonna remove all the screws Ex this one we're gonna unscrew this too but this is not this two are not going to go all the way out so i've already removed the eight screws so in order to remove the cover we'll just all right so now we have opened our laptop and inside you'll see the hdd or the hard drive the fan the battery wi-fi card this is the SSD slot where we're gonna place our SSD card and this is DDR. Now we have two slots here. This one it has a pre-installed DDR4, DDR4 and this one doesn't have. So this is for your RAM, for your laptop's RAM. So this is 4 gigabyte of RAM. If you like, you could also add another RAM here but it wouldn't necessarily increase the speed of your computer because RAM acts as a temporary storage. So, but not unless you're opening up tons of application 
then you'll definitely need to install a DDR4. Alright, so let's go ahead and <laughs> place this SSD card. <laughs> but before that, we actually have to remove the connection for the battery. It's this one. You absolutely have to do this because if not, then your laptop might short circuit if you install the SSD. So in order to remove the battery, you just pull on this. Alright, I was finally able to remove the battery. <laughs> it's quite hard, though. Uh, I just pulled this a little bit harder to remove the battery now. Once we remove the battery connection, we have to ensure that the laptop's power is fully drained. So to do that, we just press on the power button. The power button right here. Just long press that. And that should drain the battery. All right, and then afterwards. All right, now we are ready to install our SSD. All right, so we have to unscrew this. All right, so I finally managed to get this SSD card here. So apparently you have to put it in an angle now it can be a little bit tricky if you're gonna be doing it the first time so you gotta put it um in an angle and you have to make sure that it is inserted all the way in then you just press on this and then put back the screw where did i place that screw all right, so with the SSD card properly installed in place, we can now put back the battery connection. All right, so we put it back in place. <laughs> you know... <laughs> If it's your first time to do this, <laughs> removing things like this and screws and everything, it can be a little bit difficult because sometimes you just have to use both hands and do something much harder. Yeah. All right, time to place this back here and put back the screws on. Alright, so I was finally able to put in the SSD card inside this laptop, but when I tried to check on the SSD for the first time to see if my system has already recognized the SSD, apparently it's not showing up, so I have to, again, remove the cover of the laptop and then unmount the SSD card and then just clean off the, the area and then mount it back in and then now the ssd card is already showing up on the system now to to look to see if the ssd card is recognized by your system go to the task manager and then click on performance and then you'll see the ssd card is here all right so if it's your first time to install an ssd card on your laptop you definitely have to initiate it first so click on windows key and then r then type in disk mgmt.msc and this will open the disk management window so this one this disk that will appear here on the top it's usually the hdd or the hard drive and the second one is usually the ssd so right here you can see that it is online but you do have to initiate it first right click on that and then click on convert to gpt disk or convert to mbr disk so once you click on that this area will not have a storage yet so you have to right click on this area and then it's not showing here because I've already done it but 
if it's not showing any storage in your area click on new simple storage it should appear here so click on new simple storage and it will give you instructions on how you will be creating a storage on your ssd all right all right so i guess that's it so basically you can install ssd card on your g3 15 laptop to boost its speed now if you do already have a pre-installed ssd on your laptop just check on the specs of that because there are options to upgrade it to higher higher storage space like one terabyte if you want to boost speed all right thank you so much for watching